Okay, hi. Um, so this is for second decantorians. Um, just very quickly, as you know, our Earth spins on its axis. So um, every 24 hours, we do a full 360. And every year, we make a one, one turn around the sun. So what happens is um, we've sort of in, uh, you know, um, we're calling it Western uh, astrology, um, which is different from Vedic astrology, which could be considered Eastern astrology. But we've decided that there's 12 astrological signs. I believe there's actually 36. Okay, and so 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 do the Vedics, and so do the um, did the ancient Egyptians, um, because what happens is um, so for for every um, 30 days. If you divide up that month into three parts, what happens is during those nine or ten days, okay, whatever it turns out to be, um, there are a specific group of stars. So there's 36 groups of these stars that are aligned with our sun, and they do appear to rise and fall with the sun. It's They're not rising and falling, obviously. It's because of our spin on our axis. Um, so this changes um uh you know every nine or ten days during east astral each astrological season so we are reading tonight i'm reading for the second deacon of taurus so there's there's three deacons for every astrological sign we're reading for the middle middle deacon of taurus i was able to get quite a bit in in the promo what i didn't get in was the intelligence of these taurians um and their adaptability uh, they are able to um, talk with the crowds uh, and keep their virtue and walk with the kings nor lose their common touch. Um, and neither loving friend nor, nor foe can hurt them. And all men count with them, but none too much. <laughs> We've been doing so well with the French crosses and it's so traditional. Taurus uh, generally of all deacons are very practical, okay? Um, that I decided that's what we're going to do. Uh, to read you, all right? So we're focusing, I'm, I am focusing in on a particular female um, second decantorian, so if this doesn't come out specifically for you, it should jive quite a bit. Um, uh, but uh, if you're a second decantorian female, all right? So we're going to ask, first of all, what's in her thoughts, please? What is in second decantorian's Okay, I believe that is the card. Wow, strength, nice. Okay. All right, so, you know, uh, on a mundane level, there could be a Leo that you're thinking about. I don't think that's what it is. Um, what you're doing, I think you're in a very complicated situation where you have to... Um, you're using a massive amount of cordiality um, to to tame a beast, and you have no problem doing it. You're, you're very calm and serene. Well, you, you've done this a hundred times before, all right? Um, you, and you have great courage. Your hands are right in his mouth, like in, in the jaws of a beast, and you're just, you're doing your daily job. You're like, oh, no, this is what I do every day. <laughs> So it, why is that in your thoughts? Um, I, there, I, there's something else coming across to me. I'm feeling like it, you're, you're asking yourself, do I have to do this forever? Do I have to do this forever? I'm going to look at your emotions now, please. Can I have the emotions of our second deacon? You may notice that the French cross involves the major arcana only. Um, have no fear about that. Actually, you guys have no fear anyway. Right. You're cautious and practical, but I wouldn't describe it as fear. What's in the emotions of, of our second deacon towards? What's in her emotions? What's in her emotions? What's in her emotions? What's in her emotions? This is nice. All right. So, um, emotions. You, uh, you may be in love with an Aries man, an emperor. Uh, just a second now. What's in your emotions um, is balancing. Um, 
Okay, first of all, there's something, there's a connection between stability and your emotions, a massive connection. All right. Um, how does the emperor feel? He feels in control. Um, however, without his empress, he's grumpy. Um, so there may be, you may be aware that there's, you are the empress. You are the empress. So you may be aware that somebody needs you or your gardens could be coming weedy without your emperor. Um, it's funny. These are two different people. Um, but they're, they're made for each other. Okay. So I feel like you are not with, I'm reading for the empress. You are not with you. Your, your emperor is in your emotions. All right. Um, over here, your passions. We're looking for wands now, passions. Okay. You want something to change in a major way. All right. Uh, Second Deacon Torian, you have a strong desire uh, for something to shift. Look, you you may, I, either this is marrying the emperor or divorcing him, okay? Uh, or going through a major stage. Um, and it's connected to your passion. Um, so this is something that's good, all right? I don't know what direction it's going in. I, okay, maybe the emperor is the one that you're having to tame all the time. You may passionately want to move out of this, or you may be passionate about, I, I really have to clarify. Um, can you clarify, first of all? Okay, yeah, no, good. Okay, so maybe, look, it's good. Uh, you either, there's a lot of emotion here that is not being expressed. It could be you that isn't expressing it, um, or it could be him. I feel like the emperor is going to become more spiritual because the dove is flying down into the cup, uh, which imports spirituality into the cup. There are 26 droplets of water. There are 26 letters in the English alphabet. He's going to express emotion. If not, you could be dumping the emperor and, go, and going into another stage with another person, with another man. Um, whatever it is, there's not, I don't feel like, uh, like, if there were sadness here on that side, the passion would be at zero. But passion is on, is on a maximum right now. Okay? So whether you're getting out of something or getting into something, this is all good. I feel like this is all good. Now, over here, we're going to look at what's going to manifest physically. You guys are all about what's in the physical world. Uh, however, second decontorians have a massive amount of intuition. Um, you know... I don't have any female Taurus friends, and I wish I did. But um, if I do, they're probably going to be of the second deacon because this is the only deacon of Taurus that actually is as powerful uh, intuition-wise um, as they are physically, okay, or able, you know, work-wise. What's going to physically manifest, please, for our second deacon Taurian female, please? What will she see physically manifesting? This is, is crying out. I think you're going to get back together with the emperor. This is a card of reunification. Or the emperor may just to look back on his on his what he's been doing and improve his behavior. Um, let's get the final card and figure it out. Okay, uh, this is a French cross. It's a very old, old, ancient spread. All right, well, there's one more card we have to get. All right, so with the French cross, um, uh, how we get to the final card is we add the, the numbers and then reduce them to one. The emperor is major arcana card number four. The world is major arcana card number 21. Strength is number eight. Judgment is number 20. We add those together and we get 53. And then we have to reduce it to one number, which is eight, which is, guess what? It's already on the board. It's this card. It's you taming that beast, okay? It's, Im it's infinite emotional intellect, infinite emotional intellect, having massive amount of control um, around people just through your kindness. You don't even have to fight fire with fire. Um, you know, what is it? She slept with the wolves with no fear. 
uh, because the wolves knew that a lion was among them, uh, is the quote uh, for that card. Um, the number eight is incredibly important for you. You could be getting communication soon um, because the eight of wands, all right, because this is a fire card. The eight, I know you're earth, um, but the eight of wands has to do with the arrows of love um, and the infinity sign, which is all over this place. Um, the, I feel like an emperor is very important. So this would be, um, this is, I consider him to be a superior king. We have the king of cups, you know, who blows up all the time and drinks too much. Uh, we have the king of wands who cheats on everyone. We have the king of swords who's too bossy and cold and mean. King of pentacles who will make you wait so long your hair will grow gray before, uh, you get anywhere with him. Um... But the emperor is a crowned monarch, all right? You have an emperor coming in for you. If, if, you, if you're already married to this person, he is going to change. He's going to look back on his behavior. And there's going to be a massive resurrection of this relationship. Either that or you're going into another phase possibly with a fire sign. Uh, but the emperor is already fire sign. Um, I hope that resonated somehow. If it didn't, um, I could have been off by a date. Because remember, there is a full moon, all right? The, your card is the six of pentacles in the, in the minor arcana. It's moon and Taurus. Um, at the last degree of the that turn, that 30 degrees, there is a full moon in Taurus. You can look it up historically. It always occurs, all right? So, um, I hope.